when I use Listerine, it feels like God is like literally trying to burn all these sins out of my mouth. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deja Gabrielle and here on this channel we talk, we interact, we chop it up, and we spread good vibes and positive energy. So in today's video I will be sharing with you guys a few items that I use to maintain my hygiene, my skincare, and my hair care and styling products. I know since we have been dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of us have been affected financially. So I thought it would be really helpful and really cool for me to make a video for you guys, letting you know that there are some budget-friendly items that you can use to maintain your self-care. I know like myself, I like to ball on a budget girl because we have to save the coins. Most, if not all of the products that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video do come from Walmart. And I do have a few products that came from other places, um, but as we go through the video i'll let y'all know where i got everything from so that way there's no confusion i will be leaving all of the items and the prices of those items after each section that we go through i just want to let y'all know these are the prices that are specific to where i live at in florida so i don't know if the prices will be different depending on your region Jumping into the most basic products, which is things that you need for oral care. We're gonna be using floss, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, a toothbrush holder if you use one of those, mouthwash, and a tongue scraper. Starting off with dental floss, I do prefer to use the Oral-B floss picks as opposed to using traditional floss. Traditional floss has never really been my thing. I feel like it's too strenuous and I'm a little bit lazy, so I'd just rather use a floss pick, which is a lot easier and more comfortable for my teeth. So these floss picks do come in a size quantity of 75, or you can do 150 like I'm showing here in my video. And as y'all can see, yes, I do need to go restock my floss. I go through these floss picks every night, so your girl is running low. Before my toothpaste, I do use Colgate Max Fresh and this purple one is the mint fusion flavor. I go ahead and pair that with my Oral-B Pro Flex toothbrush whenever I need to brush my teeth. And yes y'all, I do use one of those toothbrush holders that you can take on vacation. I just find that it's more convenient for me to store it this way and a lot more sanitary. I don't like leaving my toothbrush out in the air where there's germs and things like that. So it's a lot more convenient for me to just put it in a little holder and just let it dry so that way it's ready for me to use it the next time I need it. All right, y'all, so moving on to mouthwash, I do use Scope Outlast. A bottle this size usually lasts me up to one month or maybe three weeks, depending on if I use it twice a day. The thing that I love about this mouthwash the most is it doesn't have that burning sensation like you would get from Listerine. Girl, I kid you not, when I use Listerine, it feels like God is like literally trying to burn all of these sins out of my mouth. <laughs> Like, Jesus, what did I do to deserve this burning sensation in my mouth like this from mouthwash? Like, it's not okay. So with Scope Outlast, I don't get that feeling and it allows me to gargle my mouth a little bit longer. And just so y'all know, all of these products did come from Walmart. I think y'all should definitely invest in a tongue scraper if you don't have one already, as opposed to just sitting there, just scraping my tongue with my toothbrush, gagging, throwing up my breakfast. Like girl, we don't need that, okay? We want our mouth to be clean and fresh. And I heard that when you use a toothbrush on your tongue to you know, try to clean it, it doesn't really do much except spread bacteria around anyway. So you might as well just go and get a tongue scraper which is specific for that job of cleaning your tongue and making sure you don't have any bacteria or you know things that will cause bad breath. I've been in a few places and had a few interactions with some individuals and I can smell that breath coming through my mask. Why am I smelling your breath coming through my mask, sir? And like, they just keep talking. Like, how do you not smell what's coming through your mask? I don't like that. Get you a tongue scraper, y'all. That's all I'm trying to say. Woo, God, I'm sitting here having my little TED talk. I didn't even tell y'all where I got my dang old tongue scraper from. I got it from CVS. It came in a pack of two. along 
on to the next section. We're gonna be talking about hand soaps. I keep it pretty simple and basic when it comes to my hand soap. I don't go out to Bath and Body Works or all of these other high-end places to buy hand soap. I feel like for me personally, that's unnecessary. So I just stick to the basics with Dial Antibacterial Soap and Soft Soap. I especially love the soft soap with the little fish on it because it reminds me of just going to the doctor, the dentist. So that soap is just like so nostalgic for me. I love that soap. And I also love the Golden Milk and Honey Soap. So cute and it also smells very, very good, y'all. So right now, sis, I really want to put y'all on to a product that I started using around 2018. It is the African Sponge. And the way I got put on these products is another YouTuber. Her name is Shanice Crystal. I will leave the exact video of how I found these down in the description box below. But basically, she was saying that she uses the sponge and it's helped her with hyperpigmentation and um, just getting rid of like dark spots, especially like in our intimate areas or under our armpits or even on our back. I know it's helped me a lot in my chest area and on my arms because I am prone to body acne. So it has definitely helped to improve my skin a lot. Y'all have been complimenting me on my skin. This is one of the things that I use to help my skin stay clear. My skin is a 100%, but girl, it is definitely a whole lot better since I started using these products. This is what the African sponge looks like if you have never seen one up close. I know y'all are probably thinking like, girl, how in the heck am I supposed to shower with this? Just chill, shorty, I got you. I know what y'all thinking. Why you got so many? Listen, I only bought four. These things were so big and so long, I think up to 40 inches. I had to end up cutting them in half, y'all, because it was just a hot mess trying to shower with a 40 inch sponge. So since downsizing sponges, it's a lot easier for me to, you know, maneuver in certain areas. And y'all, these things are still long enough for me to stretch them across my entire back and still be able to clean. And one of the things that I love about these sponges is the fact that they exfoliate so well. Y'all, I have never used like a washcloth or a loofah that has helped me exfoliate as much as this African sponge helps me exfoliate. I don't even like using washcloths anymore because they just feel like nothing. It feels like paper rubbing on my skin. Loofahs just don't do it for me. It, they don't give what they're supposed to give. Although this product is great for exfoliating and will have your skin feeling like butter from God himself, you do not want to over exfoliate. If y'all decide to look into this product and purchase it, make sure you do not over exfoliate. I have had some experiences in the past where I have been scrubbing my skin a little bit too hard and i actually ended up cutting my not well not cutting myself but i ended up scratching my skin you don't want to create any extra dark spots on your body that you already have we're trying to get rid of the dark spots be gentle to your skin i know it's easy to get caught up in wanting your skin to be soft and glowy and dewy and all these things but you do want to take your time your skin is not going to change overnight Listen, I've been using this product for three years and my skin is still not where I want it to be at. Another thing that I love about this African sponge is the fact that it dries a lot faster as opposed to a washcloth and a loofah. Since the holes in this thing are so big, it's able to dry a lot faster and it doesn't accumulate as much bacteria. But Deja, how do you shower? All you have to do is use it like it's a regular washcloth. I typically fold mine because it is still pretty big, so I wanna make it a size that's easy to fit in my hands. Do y'all see how well this African sponge lathers the soap? This is exactly why I love to use it because it holds soap so well. I did buy all of my sponges off Amazon. When I went back to get the links for these exact products, it said it was no longer available. But 
but I did buy this from the brand called Nature by EJN on Amazon. I have not ordered from them since 2018, y'all, because I've had my sponges for so long and that's how durable they are. So if y'all want to, you know, look into that brand, make sure you do your research, make sure you look at reviews. This is not the only brand that sells African sponges. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of brands that are now selling this product. And I just wanna let y'all know, it is no longer $5 a piece, like when I bought mine back in 2018. The prices have jumped up pretty significantly. I've seen people selling them for $10. I've seen people selling them for $15. I'm not sure why the price jump has been so significant. It might be due to COVID, but just wanna let y'all know. And as for products that I use to actually bathe with, I typically stick to Dove soap. Since I do have eczema and I am acne prone, I like to stick to items that don't have a lot of fragrance, don't have a lot of harsh uh, perfumes, in them because my skin will break out and it is very sensitive so i like to use things that have a lot of moisture will also keep me clean and that will not make my skin go into breakout mode i also made the switch to using bar soap because your girl was just spending too much money on body wash i would literally go in walmart and pick up five bottles of body wash because I just have a thing about soap. I love soap. I love things that smell good. And I could never set my mind on one fragrance, so I would just grab them all. But since your girl is balling on a budget, I have switched to using the four pack of Dove soap just to save myself a little bit of extra coins. And I'm pretty sure that we've all had experiences with bar soap where things can get a little bit messy, especially if it's been sitting in the shower and it gets wet and then it turns all mushy so girl to avoid that i went to walmart i purchased a two pack of the soap savers that they have and what i love about these soap savers is that they're porous and they let the water drain straight through overnight so that way even if my soap has been wet any of that extra moisture is going to be drained out so that way my soap still has a solid form and i'm able to use it for a lot longer y'all mind if we take a little stroll down memory lane just for a second so imagine you're in middle school you got on your cute little outfit you're wearing a black t-shirt you go to the bathroom to take you a little selfie girl and then you look down and you see you got white powder streaks from your deodorant on your black t-shirt does anybody else remember that? Oh my gosh, I used to hate that, especially in the morning when you run away from school, you look down, you think you cute, and then boom, you turn 90 degrees and you see that little powder streak on your shirt. So honey, now that we know better and we're gonna do better, we are no longer having powder streaks on our favorite t-shirts. We're not doing that no more. We are grown, we have elevated, we have upgraded. So now, instead of using powder deodorant, we are using the clear gel deodorant. I personally love to use the clear gel deodorant from Secret. I love Secret. I have the nectarine scent. I've also tried the cocoa butter scent and I've also tried the French vanilla scent, both of which smell so freaking amazing. But y'all, when I apply this deodorant, it literally takes a minute or two to dry. You can't even see no deodorant. You can't see no streaks. All you see is my skin. All right, ladies, come on. It's time to bring it in. It's time for our group huddle because this one is specifically for us. I don't know if I have any younger viewers out there who may be watching this, but I just want to let y'all know when it's time for y'all to go purchase feminine hygiene products such as pads, tampons, panty liners, or any other things that you might use for your menstrual cycle, do not be embarrassed to go in there and get what you need. This is part of being a woman. This is part of life. This is all natural. Every woman has a menstrual cycle and it is nothing to be ashamed of. So get whatever you need to make sure that you are clean and that your hygiene is gonna be on point when your period is here. Of course, there are so many products available that you guys can purchase to help you stay as fresh and as clean as possible when you're on your menstrual cycle. For me personally, I just like to keep it old school, plain and simple. I purchase pads, 
pads have never let me down ever since I've had my first cycle. And I just feel like they're more easy and more convenient to use, especially if you're a beginner just now getting your first menstrual cycle. So when it's time for me to go purchase pads, I do stick with the brand called Always. I make sure I buy the ultra thin super pads. I just go ahead and get the biggest pack that they have, which I believe is 42. But if you are a little bit tighter on money and you don't want to purchase that many pads at once, you can also buy smaller quantities like the 16 count or the 32 count. As I'm coming to the end of my cycle, I do make the transition from using pads to using panty liners. The panty liners that I purchased do come from the brand called You by Kotex. These are their everyday, barely there liners. So since I don't use panty liners that often towards the end of my cycle, I don't buy as much product as I would with pads. I bought this in the size quantity of 50, and I love the fact that they're super comfortable and they're unscented so that way I'm able to finish out the last few days of my cycle without any complications or irritation. shaving I like to use skin to mint disposable razors that are great for sensitive skin and I like to pair that with the satin care ultra sensitive shave gel so I'm gonna be honest when I shave I don't usually use shave gel or shaving cream I mostly just use the soap that is already on my body when I'm taking a shower but what I liked most about this shave gel is that when I put it in my hands it wasn't runny or loose like other brands of shave gel that I have tried and I also I love the fact that it was unscented it didn't have any dyes in it which is great for my sensitive skin as far as my razors y'all I had to make a big upgrade from using the big silky touch razors y'all know the razors that come in the 10 pack that you can get at Walmart they're the really small ones and they only come with two blades I used to hate that because every time I would use those razors I would end up getting cut and I did not like the fact that they don't last very long especially since I need to shave large parts of my body like my arms and my legs on a weekly basis so now that I use skin to razors I love that they're big enough to fit comfortably in my hand and I also love the fact that it comes with four blades instead of two blades so that way I get fewer nicks and cuts whenever I'm shaving jumping right into skincare products that I use for my face I like to use two cleansers, one being the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser and the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. As far as my exfoliant, I like to use the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. And the reason that I use two cleansers is because the Vanna Cream can be used on my nose piercings without causing any itchiness or irritation. Vanna Cream has been so good to my skin. It was recommended to me by my dermatologist when I went to her about my granulomas that I had on my nose. It has not let me down. It has had my skin feeling so much softer and less textured. I love the fact that you don't need to use a lot of product for it to cover your whole face. A little bit definitely goes a long way. Moving right into the second step of my skincare, I do like to go in with the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. Y'all, this cleanser has never let me down either. It is very gentle on my skin and it also smells so freaking amazing. Oh my God, Rihanna did her thing with this cleanser. I also love that it contains natural ingredients like fig, green tea, and of course the Barbados cherry. Alrighty, so we're moving right on along into step three of my skincare. And we're gonna be going in with the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. I have used this scrub for so many years, you guys. And since I have finally learned how to use exfoliator properly, I don't use this exfoliator every single day like I was before when I was young and inexperienced with skincare. But now since I have a little bit more knowledge about exfoliators, I use this exfoliator maybe two 
two times out of the week. So your girl definitely had to tone it down with the amount of times that I was exfoliating throughout the week. When I was exfoliating every single day, y'all, my skin was becoming very, very textured. It felt very uneven. It was always oily and I was getting breakouts a lot more often. Okay, so moving along into the second portion of my skincare, I do use the Fenty Skin Fat Water as my toner. I use aloe vera gel as a moisturizer and I also use the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor as a moisturizer, which also doubles as a sunscreen. Oh my God, y'all. Fat Water has literally been the best toner I have ever used in my entire 24 years of existence. What I love about Fat Water is it does not require me to use any cotton pads in order to apply it to my face, which is definitely a plus because I used to hate when I have to use a cotton pad to apply products and I would have those little fuzzy strands left behind on my skin. Since your girl has upgraded to using Fat Water, all I have to do is apply a few drops to my hand and distribute it all over my face to make sure everything gets covered. I also love that Rihanna made this bottle recyclable so that way your girl is doing her part and making sure we are staying eco-friendly and keeping the planet clean. This product also contains ingredients that can be found in nature like the cactus flower, the jasmine raisin tree, and of course the infamous Barbados cherry. The very last two steps of my skincare, I do go in with aloe vera gel and the hydrovisor as my moisturizer. I just got into using aloe vera gel as an added moisturizer to my skincare routine. I definitely feel like it makes my face feel a lot softer, a little bit more glowy. And a side note, I don't know if this is a fact, but I definitely feel like it's been making my eyelashes grow. I don't know if that's a thing, but I definitely see a difference in how my eyelashes have been looking lately. So when I'm applying my aloe vera gel, I don't like to use that much product, maybe like a pea-sized amount, and that is definitely enough to cover my entire face. No cap, when I first started using aloe vera gel, I would put like a huge amount on my face because I wanted to just feel so glowy and dewy, but y'all, my skin would be so sticky afterwards. So if you wanna use aloe vera gel and incorporate that into your skincare routine make sure you use a little bit a little bit goes a long way with these products y'all the very last step of my skincare we are going in with the fenty skin hydrovisor which also doubles as a sunscreen with spf 30. so when i'm using this product i don't use a lot as y'all know all i need is one pump in order to distribute it across my entire face if I use two pumps, my face is gonna look really, really oily and I'm gonna look like I dipped my face in Crisco and girl, we do not want to be that shiny. And of course, Riri had to include the natural ingredients that come from the baobab tree and from the Kalahari melon. If y'all don't know already, I got my Havana cream, my St. Ives apricot scrub and my aloe vera gel from Walmart. <music> And of course, all of my Fenty Skin products came from Fenty Skin. So Deja, if you got your other three products from Walmart, and I know they're gonna be a little bit cheaper there, then how much do the products from Fenty Skin cost? Oh my God, girl, I'm so glad that you asked. So since I have the full size bundle for my Fenty Skin products, those cost 75, but girl, if that's too much for you, you can definitely do the smaller one for $40. What? $40? You need to leave. Uh-uh, girl, you said we supposed to be balling on a budget. Well, dang, can you let me explain how you're able to save some money before you come jumping down my throat like that, girl? You better uh, out my face. Out of my face. Out of my face. One of the ways that I have been able to save on how much money I spend on my skincare products is by going ahead and buying the full-size bundle. So Rihanna's bundles do come in two different sizes. We have the full-size bundle, of course, and we also have the travel size. Like I said, I go ahead and get the full-size bundle because it comes with much more product. Even though it costs a little bit more, in the long run, I'm going to have the product for a little bit longer. You guys, I made my first purchase with Fenty Skin in April, and I did not need to restock on more product until July. 
And that is exactly why you guys heard me say a little bit goes a long way throughout my whole skincare routine. Another way that I was able to save some money when I purchased my Fenty Skin products was by consenting to receive text messages and emails from her brand. So you guys know that when you go on a website, sometimes it'll have that little pop-up and it'll ask you if you want to enter your email address. So once I entered my email, I was able to get 15% off of my order just by subscribing to receive automated messages which include information about promotions and new products that are going to be released. I already unsubscribed from receiving text messages but if at any point you no longer want to receive emails all you would have to do is scroll to the bottom of the email that you're currently on and just click the unsubscribe button and you'll be removed from the mailing list. Another great way to save money is by using Afterpay. I've never used Afterpay with Fenty Skin but I did use Afterpay with another brand and my experience was super easy and I definitely recommend it if you don't have all of your money up front to pay for your products. And for those of you who don't know, Afterpay is exactly what it sounds like. You pay after. So you guys are able to get all of your products at once. But the thing is with Afterpay, it's going to go ahead and split up whatever you owe into four equally set payments that you will pay every two weeks. I want to let you guys know that you definitely want to have funds available for your afterpay payments because they will charge you an extra fee if you are late or if you don't have sufficient funds available on your card. Just so things do not get misconstrued with afterpay, you guys do still need to make your first payment up front and then after that your bi-weekly payments are going to start kicking in. Do not worry if you forget which day that your payment is due. Afterpay is going to make sure they send you notifications through text message and email just to make sure you don't forget to make a payment. Y'all do not miss your payments because you do not want to get charged an extra fee and make sure your card has sufficient funds, please. So if you guys are on the Fenty Skim website, you will notice that on every single product, you will see the Afterpay logo and you will also see where it says for interest-free payments. It'll also have the amount of that payment divided by four. This just means that you are able to use Afterpay on any of the products that you want to purchase, even if you don't have all of your money up front. So the way this works is once you have all of your items that you want to purchase in your check out card all you have to do is click the option for afterpay once you go to check out and then from there you are going to be taken to the afterpay website where you will go ahead and create an account if you don't have one already oh i didn't know i could use afterpay really nigga so how do you sign up so if any of you are not very tech savvy, I got you with the Afterpay sign up and I will also leave the link down below so you can get to the website a lot faster if you want to go ahead and create an Afterpay account. Signing up for Afterpay is really quick and easy y'all. Once you are on the website, you're going to look in the top right hand corner and click on the sign up button. From there, you will be taken to the next page where you enter your email address. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter mine as an example. So once I'm logged in, I can automatically see my home page. And if I scroll down a little bit more, I can see my previous order. I ordered some body jewelry from a brand called Lulu's. And from there, I can see my previous payment schedule. Y'all see how everything is so organized. And of course, I made sure everything was paid on time because your girl is not trying to get charged no extra fees. And if you guys notice on my last payment, it says paid manually. That just means I made my last payment early. So that way after paid and not have to take any funds from my account automatically. So when it comes to making sure that my skin stays silky, smooth, and soft like the butters from heaven, I stick to using four simple products, one being the Jergens Hydrating Coconut Lotion. And y'all know every person's go-to is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I also pair that with the Palmer's Body Oil. And last but not least, 
not only can you use aloe vera gel for your face but you can also use it for your body when i combine all four of these products together my skin just soaks it up so well my skin loves these four products combined together especially after a shower or after i finish shaving y'all already know that your girl has sensitive skin and that i also deal with eczema so it is definitely imperative that i always moisturize so girl if you want to make sure your melanin stays popping and you have that soft glowy skin make sure you go to walmart and get you some body lotion some aloe vera gel and some body oil because we want to make sure the melanin ages fine like wine and not like bananas because you know black don't crack so girl we gotta make sure we take care of the melanin okay comes to the products that I'm going to be using to wash and condition my hair, y'all already know that your girl is going to be rocking with Maui Moisture. Throughout the years, I have purchased shampoo and conditioner from so many different brands, but I have never been able to find anything that was compatible with my hair. Y'all know as Black people, it is sometimes very, very hard to find products that are going to be compatible with our hair types because it comes in so many different forms and textures textures and curl types but with Maui Moisture I definitely feel like I found a product that is going to be reliable for my hair and that is not going to strip it of its natural moisture so y'all already know that your girl loves products that include ingredients that can be found in nature so you will find that with Maui Moisture, all of their products include aloe vera and coconut water. Since I am an advocate for making sure that the planet is clean, I am so glad that Maui Moisture's products are recyclable. So if you guys purchase any of these products, make sure you recycle because we definitely want to be eco-friendly. And I also love the fact that these products are 100% vegan. Another added benefit to this brand is that none of their products include silicone silicone, parabens, or mineral oil. And you will also find that if you go to purchase these products, you will notice that the shampoo and the conditioner are both the same size. So with all of the Maui Moisture products that I have in my collection, all of them are the same size and they also cost the same price. So you don't have to worry about your shampoo costing more than your conditioner or vice versa. So if you guys are interested in purchasing products by Maui Moisture, you can find them at Walmart or if you prefer to shop online, I will leave Maui Moisture's full website in my description box below. This brand does not only cater to hair, they also do offer products for your body and they have plenty of collections that you can choose from. So if you are interested in shopping with them and supporting them, make sure you check out their website. It's really, really cool and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. In addition to me washing my hair, I do deep condition on a weekly basis. So to make sure that my hair is deep conditioned properly, I do use the Adama plastic shower caps to make sure my hair stays insulated. These do come in a pack of 15. I only use these once a week, so this pack will last me a couple months. So when it comes to blow drying and styling my hair, y'all already know I gotta stick with my ride or dies, my Tresemme heat protectant, Eco Style Gel, and my Gorilla Snot. When I'm styling my hair, I do use heat, so I have to make sure that it is going to be protected. So with the Tresemme Heat Protectant, it is going to make sure my hair is going to be safe for up to 450 degrees. I also love that it smells really good and it's easy to use. Girl, all you got to do is point and spray and you're good to go. When it's time to style, y'all already know I have to pair my Eco Style Gel with my Gorilla Snot. They make the perfect combination for my hair to make sure everything is laid and slayed. I do work in food service, so I always want to make sure my hair is neat and tucked away. And these two together do just that. Since I don't own any satin pillowcases, I do use the Stay On Satin Head Wrap as an alternative. 
I use this head wrap to make sure my hair is protected when I'm sleeping, if I need to take a shower, or when I'm washing my face. So since the bun is my go-to hairstyle, this satin head wrap is literally perfect for me. All I have to do is make sure I tie it securely and I don't have to worry about it falling off in the middle of the night. I also love that it's super soft and it comes in a variety of colors. At this point, do I even need to tell y'all where y'all can buy these products at? Go to Walmart, girl. All right, you guys, so this about wraps it up for today's video. I know I included a ton of information and I hope you all found it helpful and useful. I really enjoyed filming this for you all and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to even watch my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you spread those good vibes and positive energy. And if you missed any of the products or the prices, I will leave the full list down in the description box below. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.